So we are in the Grand Finals. And Life Vehicle Factory for Cube versus Life Vehicle Factory for Drone on Common Catcher Redux because Apophis is not a very well balanced map. And honestly, I don't care. Because frankly, Apophis would have been kind of terrible anyway, so. Let's see Comet Catcher from these two. I'm pretty sure Drone is going to take this handily. It looks like there's going to be... Pretty... That's pretty pretty simple, I think. You know, standard macro. Build up everything. Expand across. Drone in a much less defensive position. Cuba in a very defensive position. Like starting in the eastern... In the southeast side of the map, that's... Or the corner, rather, of the map. That is defensive! That's where you go, where you're not sure if you're going to be able to take on straightforward attacks, whereas Cuba, or Drone, on the other hand, wants to take their side of the map very quickly, wants to expand very quickly, and going to take a few risks in the process, but Cuba not even attacking. Cuba too afraid of being attacked. They're keeping their Scorchers at home. Even though they have three of them, Drone does have a couple Lotuses, but nothing huge, nothing... Special, really. But no, these Scorchers are just staying at home. I think QA might be waiting until they get four or five Scorchers to go for a dive. But I don't know. This is... This is an odd play. I don't really understand the motivation for doing... For doing a dive like this? Oh, not dive, sorry. Doing this setup. Like having these Scorchers on defense. I can sort of get it, but this is Comet Catcher. You've got to expand. You've got to get out there and build up everything. That's how this map works. <clears throat> Although, that being said, both players are expanding at roughly the same rate. Drone is ahead economically, but it wouldn't be that many Metal Extractors to get it even. It's just ah, that... right. Okay. okay, found the problem. Oh, uh, what was it? Turn my microphone off like an idiot. <laughs> oh. That would definitely be a problem, yes. I agree. <laughs> okay, my observation is I'm pretty sure Cubase is just not playing very well. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a winning strategy. No, defense on Comcatcher... Not putting any pressure on... But you, you can't just not put pressure on against a drone and think and hope it's going to work. Well, especially on Comcatcher. <laughs> Comcatcher is all about pressure. <laughs> And about well, move well, into well, okay. The, yeah, the, but I guess what I'm saying is that dr they've both expanded pretty much without contest. Yeah, that's but true. drone's build order, drone's build order is just more efficient. And where he, and where he started on the map is more efficient, given that no real contest has happened. Yeah, well, Cuba is off in the corner being defensive, which doesn't work in this game very well. It can occasionally work on some maps, but it's hard to do well. Oh, yeah. And Drone, having plenty plenty of radar out on the map, sees this attempted backstab from Cubay coming, and this is going to get shut down. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I see minute. radar right here. But I believe Cubay doesn't even know where Drone's factory is at this stage, I think. Well, Cubay Probably also oh, it by actually now, has radar. But... How about that? Cubay gets radar for once. Yeah. However, oh, Cubay is, as per usual... Um, running low on A. <laughs> yep. yep. I, guess when, I guess when you come back from what, like a half a year break, <laughs> stalling yeah, E is a thing that happens. Yeah, you gotta remember, you, you need your E. Like, if you don't have E, you just, yeah. you just completely crash. Hmm. Or so if I was Cuba, I'd be building a radar right about where my commander was right now. Because that commander could die to about three scorches. That commander is surprisingly not being threatened. Will be soon. The radar should actually be able to pick it up. The drone sees it. They should see it, yeah. And the, I think the Scorchers are rotating over there to um, go have a few words with that commander. 
Yeah, mostly the war is like, hey, you like heat? Have heat. Oh, it killed you. Ah! Sad. Well, that, sad, ah, sad, sad. more of the Scorchers getting killed by the commander burst. Hmm. But yeah. That's... And that is thoroughly oh, a profitable engagement for drone, I believe. Yeah, what is Cupe doing? Why are they going all along the eastern side of the map, right into drone's territory? Are they doing a proxy factory or something? Because their commander's dead now. Their commander's gone way too far. Yeah, no, I think I think Kimei's just out of clever ideas. Yeah. At this stage. I mean... Understandably, after that last series, I have to admit, but... They're probably dead tired. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's death. There's one dead commander. But... Yeah, and at the end of the day, this is not a map which favors Cubay style. No, this not is a macro a, not map. Not in the slightest. But they seem to agree to play on it, but yeah. They're dead. Like, Drone has twice the twice the metal. I mean, even if Cubay does a super successful raid, kills the commander, wipes out all the metal extractors on this side, they'll just break even. Yeah, at best. Oh, I guess they forgot that nanoframes will also explode. And they won't because the comm burst. But hey, they killed the commander at least. I got even? I don't know. That's all in drone's territory, so drone gets a ton of metal. So much for that. I mean, another expansion attempt maybe? I don't know. Doesn't look promising. I mean, an assault attempt, another raid attempt. I mean, that side is actually fairly open. There's a lot of raiding that could be done. It just won't be done. Because Cube. Well, maybe it will be done. I don't know. I think Drone's going to stop it. Yeah, Drone's going to stuff this pretty hard. I think they should be able to. And indeed, they don't, actually. What? Wow, Cube is able to get through. Some damage can be dealt. Especially if they go around the back and don't attack straightforwardly. Which is exactly what they do. They go attack straightforwardly. What do you know? Drone has switched into gunships. Say it isn't so. Who could ever have seen that coming? Not me. I'd have thought he yeah. switched into heavy tanks. A thoroughly unprecedented of occurrence. A lot of like switching into switching into heavy. It wouldn't surprise me to see uh, Drone true, yeah. switching into okay, heavy tanks. Okay, switching here. into. Shipyard. Tele for terraforming down and switching into a shipyard. And then terraforming the rest of the map to water level. Which I don't even know if it exists on this map. I did that on Eye of Horus once. It was a terrible game. <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to do that at all. Well, no, it, was like, it wasn't just my starting factor. It was, it was a very terrible game. I think I saw that one, actually. And I didn't actually... Well, uh, maybe. I didn't... I, and actually, it wasn't so much. Actually, I don't think I ever built a ship factory. I just terraformed down and built a Leviathan. It was terrible. Anyway, oh. <laughs> <Sheesh>. <laughs> almost as terrible as almost as terrible as Leviathan as a unit. I uh, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I haven't seen a Leviathan ever, or very rarely. I remember the last time I seen one? It used to be. It used to be occasionally built when it was an anti nuke, but now it doesn't have anti nuke. It's not, it's just a a mobile missile silo that costs three times as much and can't build anything but a EOS. Oh. Yeah, that's not that useful. <laughs> it's like when Infernos are the only thing you build missile silos for, pretty much. I sort of just build a shockwave, but yeah. Occasionally, but usually Infernos. They're the go-to. Like, if there's one thing you'd build, it'd be an Inferno. But at this point, Cubay is just flinging units at a wall. Like eggs. Yeah, largely. And drone has their spatula. I'm just gonna be picking it all up. Oh, sort of. Actually, just building a lot of stardust. Not really picking stuff up yet. But hey, they don't really need to. They have twice the economy without reclaim. And then with all the harassment coming in, this is just. This is gonna be quick, I guess. One harps. 
I could do with some quick. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? I think the whole series is going to totally take about as long as that first match on Fetid Marsh did. Ugh. What hopes? Seriously, I'm not dead, am I? I, I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> okay. I hope I'm not dead. Just not sure. Alright, whatever. I don't know. This has honestly kind of fallen apart. So yeah, as a, I guess as a rule, make sure to use tested and featured maps rather than unsupported maps or barely supported maps or even supported but not featured <laughs> maps. Or well, just maps which aren't um, buggy. That'd be a good start. Yeah. Well, I can't fully blame Feated Marsh for how that game turned out. True, that was a I'm weird game. For all the I can blame it for the technical issues, but not for how the not for the actual game. I kind of blame it for the game. I, I really kind of blame it for the game. Yeah, I okay, guess so somewhat, but yeah, I mean, just, yeah. I've been talking about this game, but there's not really much to say, sadly. Yeah, this game's kind of it's kind of one-sided. Mm. Cubase's been just trying to get some headway, and they've long since lost whatever position they may have had. Mm. Cuba has gone into air as opposed to gunship, I just note briefly. Yeah, that's that looks nice, I suppose. It's kind of trading, trading okay against the rapiers with Swift, but it's not, it's not amazing. Yeah, it's one of those also, things. Hawks would actually it, work better against the, against the rapiers. It, I'm not sure. But it is letting... Uh, it, possibly, I'm not sure either. It is allowing Cubay to scout behind drones copious. Like, it is actually allowing Cubay to see what drones are doing. Yeah, which is of limited usefulness at this stage, but in theory. Well, as a general thing to do, it's a good idea. But yeah, at this point, it's a it is mm. too little too late. Like, oh, that's what he killed me with. Okay. Because I don't know what Cubay can do other than try to find a better map for game two. Okay, well that's the rapier's down. I guess that did do a decent job. How many Swiss are there? Only nine Swiss. How about that? Actually, it might have been more like. Well, cool. there were more. There were more before. That's true. There were more <laughs> like fourteen or so. And now there are zero. Well, very soon to be zero. But I don't know what Cubay has planned. I mean, they have not got that much money. I don't see what they could possibly do. They can't really get Striders easily. They can't really get... Silo wouldn't do them much good. Terraforming is not going to work, especially well on this map. I think it's Surrender. That works. <laughs> Cubay can laugh and then Surrender, I guess. Yeah, once again, the metal used graph is quite disgusting. That's not surprising. Drone did have double the economy for the most part. Yeah. All right. So on to game two, I guess. Cubase map of choice. Choice of map. Hi. This has been a weird tournament. Yeah, I mean, like this. That was one, that was one or two good games. The yeah, but the games I, I that thought would be good were just not very good, and the games <laughs> that I thought wouldn't be good were abs what made me think that I might actually have died and gone to hell in my sleep. So yeah, <laughs> it was a bit disappointing to say the least. I'm sorry, like, but it was. Whatever we're playing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no this, this, yeah. These, these games have not been. These games have not been all that could be hoped for. That or like the Ophelius, the last Ophel, like the Ophelius Cube series was okay. actually quite good. That's true. That was good. That was well played. That was that was worth. That was worth saying. Although Ophelius should have uh, won that. 
<laughs> yes, that, that's also true. But all the same. I mean, granted, Kyubei would have then probably won anyway, because if you look at the way the brackets have gone, they would have faced Black Duchy instead of Orphelius, and then they would have beaten them, and then beaten Lori, and then fought in the semifinals against Orphelius. Yeah, if Orphelius seems likely, but all the same. Mm. Actually, no, Orphelius would have been against Lori, so then Lori would have probably... No, it would have been Orphelius versus Snuggle Base, so then Snuggle Base might have gone on. Either way, it probably would have been still the same finals and we're on red yeah, like well this is an okay map yeah it's pretty good. I wonder if Kibe tries to calm map again I wouldn't be surprised that would that would actually surprise me if they didn't this is like a calm map kind of map Totally, you have the super protected start position, you can just get a gunship factor without any real concern. Alright. So. Ravage, one of my favorite maps. And. What the? Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, I think, you know, I Hi, think this is not quite a gun. I, I think this is not a com nap. Well, what is it then? I think it, I think it's a com drop. Ah. He's, he's, the he's morphed, morphed the battle oh, com. Oh yeah, battle com, right. Yeah, he's morphed it once. And nothing else. Yeah, I think you have a point. <clears throat> if it was a heat rate com, I think, I think if, I think if, if it was a heat rate com, he wins since it's... A, Riot come, I'm not sure. Oh, no, okay. Drones comes to support come. It might just work. I... And the fleas come in to see. <sighs> hey, there's a drop coming in. Oh crap. Mm. And and drone and drones building defenders, which is actually the wrong answer here. You, you... Yeah, the right cannon should one I'm shot pretty them. Sure. Or two shot them. It'll wipe them up pretty quick. The thing to note about this is the vin the vindicator is a non-zero part of the threat here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's actually going to die. But if if you don't kill the Vindicator and you don't have anti-air, the Vindicator can be a serious problem. But it looks like Kyubei's commander just doesn't have the damage. Yeah. I said, I think I think a heat ray com is slightly better for this. Heat ray com, machine gun com, or something. Yeah, that's that's game and there tournament. You have it. That's, that's the tournament. A, that is your, that is your September your September one v one tournament. Just what the, the hell did I just possible. watch? That was possibly the, the worst concluding game to a tournament I've ever seen. I'm was... sorry. I don't want. I try to avoid being mean, but seriously, what did I just watch? I don't. I don't uh, understand I anything it... anymore. So congratulations to Drone well, you just... yeah. for not losing, for actually no, not letting things die senselessly, as it seems that a lot of people. Let things die senselessly. Like that's why the yep. fetid marsh match lasted so bloody long was because Cuba and Black Dutchy kept throwing units at each other and they kept dying, but without seeing what was happening or scouting out, and it was just weird. And I don't understand why people had a hard time. I think a lot of people were rusty, and I think some of the maps threw some people off. But overall, it's just I don't know. Yeah, this wasn't great. Like, in all seriousness, this wasn't, as the tournaments go, this was not no, great. No, I mean, but... especially since the good maps were at the beginning, of the new maps, of the interesting different maps, the good ones were at the start. Like, Isle of Grief and Fairyland and Zed to a lesser extent, although Zed's kind of weird, but Zed at least produced an interesting game. But Isle of Grief and Fairyland, at least those were pretty good. Like, relative to the later Standard ones, any, right? like Fed and Marsh, I don't even know. Siberian Divide looks okay, <laughs> but I don't. I, I really don't know because I didn't see it. And Aphis, Aphis was for good reason vetoed by the players. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. But I mean, in terms of what you just watched, that last game was Cube realizing he stood no chance against a Drone in any kind of standard game, which was as far, which well, as, far as I can tell is an accurate, which is an accurate assessment. Yes, and tried I mean, I agree something with which might have worked. Which might have worked if Drone had not been playing spiders, had scouted it less early, and had built one, maybe two less defensive towers. It's conceivable that works. 
Yeah, but then that would have been drone taking another map, which would have been, I don't know, fields. Yeah. And then it would have been just dead. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I still can't picture Cubay taking the tournament, mind you, but... But Cubay got silver. No, you, you, have to take, you have to take it one game at a time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Cubay, has done, Cubay has not done badly, but... All things considered, no, Cubay got a silver medal out of this. Really strange set of matches. I mean, like I said, the first few matches were fine. The Isle of Grief is a, seems like a fine map. Zed might be okay. Fairyland seems okay. I mean, it's different, but I, I think it's okay. But the later ones, I don't even... I just don't even know. Yeah. This is an observation. The the player placing first place has not played in a month. The player placing second has not played in a year. The player placing third won two games in the entire tournament. Wow, yeah, you're right, because they went... They lost yeah. against... Like snuggle, that you got a, no, they got a buy against Snuggle Base, lost against Drone... One against Orphelius, one against Lowry, lost against Cube. People, please show up to the tournament and don't bow. Don't for well. Okay, I guess you you are allowed to forfeit out, but yeah. In hindsight, though, since we actually, I think we ended up with eight players, maybe nine. I don't know. No, we ended up with seven. The, the tournament should perhaps have, the tournament should perhaps have been rebalanced to not have the round one. But hindsight's twenty twenty. It's a bit hard to like. The problem is. You start games before you know exactly who's here and who's not, so... Well, yeah, because we have a schedule to keep. I mean, that, or we're super strict mm. about you're there on time or you're subbed out. That's the other option. Yeah. Well, the tournament may have been dreadful, but I had fun. <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Thanks for co-commentating. A little bit of a surprise, but yeah, sure. That worked. And congrats to Drone for winning in Q for second place. And, and Black Duchy for third. Yep, Black Duchy for third. And everyone else for participating. Yes, yeah, thanks for participating. I, I know I often say, yeah, please join tournaments. You never know what's going to happen. Well, granted, QB has nearly, if not actually, won tournaments in the past. So, But still, I mean, yeah, weird stuff can happen. Also, more participants means... Usually the randomization gets balanced out a bit better if there's more participants. Like, you don't end up with like you don't end up with Yog Drone and um, L'Oreal Torero in round one. Not or as round easily, two, no. whichever. Not as likely. Not. Because I mean, if you think about trying to seed that, it would still have been a lot of like. I think if I'd seeded that, considering the performances. I would have actually gone with those the way it went out. Like, the way it shook out in terms of the actual positioning and the placements. I think maybe Yogg versus Drone might be... Like, Yogg versus Drone as, like, a semifinals match, but still. That would have been... Like, Yogg would have been maybe on the other side of the, bra of the same bracket as Drone. Mm. But, yeah, that was far off, really. Mm. I didn't really expect Snugglebase to take down Yogg Zahoth, but best of one. And I think, and Yogg Zothoth didn't really seem to be on top of his game. Also, what map was that? Because that would have been... Oh, I, think that was, I, I believe it was Zed. Yeah, I think yeah there's it was a Zed. lot of stuff you can do on Zed that's very difficult to deal with if you don't know how to work with it. Like, mm. that map allows for tricks. Guns yeah. tricks, spider and tricks, even, as we saw, bots have tricks that their sleeves they can do. But mm. mostly spiders and gun tricks. Like your standard cliff map tricks. Anyway, that's going to be it for us. Thanks for watching. I still am not yep. sure what we watched, but thanks for watching anyway. We got a lot of people watching, whatever it was, despite the games being what they were. And despite all the production messing up and everything going wrong in every conceivable way, except for the way it always goes wrong, which is that I don't believe there was any game where I failed to show the game in progress as it started when it started for real. Any game that started for real was shown in full. So I got that right. At least that's one thing. That's an improvement. That's a solid improvement. I can say one good thing. I didn't forget to show the games. In any instance. That's right. I think I've muted myself at least twice. But, <laughs> but that's fine because there's two of us. So if one of us muted ourselves, the other person could take over. Yeah. You know, it is... 
nearly half past one in the morning here, so I think yeah, I'm going to it's nearly half past eight in the morning here, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> yep. Good night. See you around. Have a good night, everyone.